Hey guys, Caleb here from I'll Build Anything. Today I'm going to show you how I put in a light switch at my grandma's house a couple weeks ago. So here you got the room. It's got a normal pull string light switch with some chalk hanging from the lights for some reason. Wires run underneath the rafters instead of through them because that's the way the house was built. First turn off your power and now I am testing where I want the switch just naturally from where you reach whenever you walk in the door. Mark it with my finger and take a marker and mark the middle of it. There's the screws I'm using. They're like inch and a half, two inches long. You gotta use a level and of course your box to hold the switch. I just put in the general area of where I wanted it and made it level. And then I take a marker, as you'll see in a minute, and I stick it through the holes where the screws are going just to mark where I where I have to drill the holes. Also, wear hearing protection. There are the mollies or anchors that I used. And the screws again for reference. That's what the surface of the wall looks like after putting the, the anchors in. Now I had to put quite a bit of force into the screws to keep them in the wall so it would, or so the anchor would grip the wall because the anchors probably weren't big enough for the wall. You could also use a drill with a Phillips bit on the end, but I didn't have one, so I just used a screwdriver. Now here I'm measuring to see how long I need to cut the conduit to go from the box to the gap between the wall and the top of the concrete wall. So I just got the measurement, marked it on the conduit and then I use a PVC pipe cutter to cut the pipe in half. The box was on the wall tight enough that I could just put the conduit into the hole on the top of the box and leave it there while I screwed it in with these, uh, with these clips you see here. And you'll see I marked the holes on these also with a magic marker and then I'll pull it back and mark it more clearly so I can see where it's at 
the magic marker through the hole only leaves a little small small dot. Also, hearing protection. You'll notice as I keep drilling these holes, I learn to quit making the bit wander around because if the hole is not straight, the anchors will not stay in there. And what I edited out here is I had to switch anchors because the hole was too big for the anchors I had. Once again, using a screwdriver, which probably isn't the best idea, but it works. That's after I got the bigger anchor put in. And then drilling more holes. And put the anchors in there. And here's Grandma asking me how everything's going. Here's a small description of the wire diagram. Basically, the way it was hooked up before, it was just hooked right in and the switch was the pull cord. And instead, I interrupted that and used a wire going over to the light switch. So I pulled out the light bulb first because these are pretty flimsy and will break easily. And I just loosen the screws so I can just rotate the ivory uh, fixture a little bit and it will come right off like you see there. And I already drilled the holes in the rafters and lost the footage somehow. But I got the wire there anyway. Put the wire into the box. So I disconnected the light fixture and after studying it for a little bit figured out how I needed to reconnect it and you can refer to the diagram that I just showed to see how I did it. I'm not completely sure if these are the correct wire nuts to be using for this but they worked and the wires were tight so I just went with it. So you'll notice I interrupt the black or the hot wires going to the light switch. So I do one hot wire from the power source to the light switch and the other wire back to the hot wire of the light fixture from the light switch. And then I lift it back up, rotate it, and then tighten the screws again to hold it in there. And then since I did not like the chalk hanging there, I removed that of course, and we wanted a lot brighter bulb than we had so I used an LED instead of the old incandescent that was in there. 
and then I pulled the string off because uh, we didn't need it anymore and I know these are not the right kind of scissors to be using for cutting wires but they're the only ones I had so I just worked with what I had and I know my arm is blocking it but I'm hooking up the light switch there I just stripped off about a half inch of the wire bent it over to be the same shape as the screws it was going around and wrapped the wire around the same direction as the screw would turn whenever it tightened. And then I just took the included screws that came with the light switch and screwed it into the box. Altogether, the light switch and everything else you see me use here cost less than $50 to put in. The light switch was like 50 cents. The faceplate was 50 cents. Conduit was $3. The box was $3. The most expensive part was the wire, which I guess that was $50, so the whole cost would have probably been about $60. But still, it's pretty cheap. Here is a picture of the a video of the finished product. And it worked. Now the big test is Grandma. Does she like it? Nice. Yeah. So there you go. I hope you have enjoyed this short tutorial on how to install a light switch. Um, you can like this video and subscribe and look forward to more videos like this coming from I'll Build Anything.